Hey everybody, today I'm showing you three cool Tesla coil guns or handheld Tesla coils. Now these are all rechargeable. This is the smallest one. It has automatic and manual mode that you can activate here. It has these two knobs that let you change the frequency and power. Let's say I turn this on. You see the voltage here. This is on auto already. You can it like that. This is the max power. Now this is the first generation handheld Tesla coil with battery. This has only one mode. There is no adjustable speed or anything. You can start a fire, for example, if you have an alcohol and just wanna, let's say you're outdoors and you wanna start a fire with that, you can do it with this. Just to make sure you don't have your smartphone or anything like that. This is the battery. You can open it, you can charge it from here. Doesn't have too many bells and whistles. I wouldn't say even the handle is too fancy or anything, but it gets the job done. It has this button here. So that's the difference between these two. This has an automatic mode and this one doesn't. And this is the fourth generation collector's edition Tesla coil. It's the fanciest one. First of all, you can change the battery from here. You can change the battery from here. You can tear it on here. And these are the buttons that you have. The first one turns on automatic mode. You see the light there. This one changes power. This one changes frequency. So that's how you do it. three four five this is the max level you can also actually try this on your hand and this just changes two three four five this changes the frequency Uh, this comes with a stand as well i personally don't use that as far as the adapters this is for the fourth generation it's 16.8 for that one you have this and its head is just a little bit smaller like that for the other one again you have a 12.6 and the head of this is normal now one thing about this and that the difference is that if i actually plug this in let's say connect this to a power source it will not turn on so it will just charge and that's the way it works that's the way it's designed to work see this is now plugged in and it's showing you that it's using the max power and it works. And if I remove it, you see the voltage will drop to what it is. So it's not fully charged without it. And you can see it works with or without the adapter. So that's the main difference between these two. As far as the size, you can see. I like this handle a lot. It's see here and the size this is very tiny what i have here are a bunch of keychains argon helium neon helium nitrogen here these are the tubes that i have and it's very simple to just turn one of these on you can also smell ozone when you run this for a bit all of them actually just not this one this is the biggest one you can see it actually turns all of these on
So these were three cool handheld Tesla coils that you can use for science experiments. That one is the most advanced one. It has a more slick design and also changing frequency and power is easy with the push of a button. That one has only one mode. It's the first generation handheld Tesla coil and it doesn't have as many features, but it still works great as a spark gun. And this is the most compact one. It's not as powerful as the others, but it still lets you change frequency and power with those knobs there. I'm going to include a link in the description to where you can buy these, so check them out. If you like these kinds of videos, please like and subscribe. I have a lot of these covered on the channel, so you may want to check them out. Thanks for watching.